Hello, citizens of the world. We are anonymous. We lay junk. We don't forget. We are anonymous. We don't forget. Expect us. We are anonymous. We lay junk. dictatorship, it'd be a heck of a lot easier, <laughs> just so long as I'm the dictator. <laughs> no, I've, I've always, you know, a dictatorship would be a heck of a lot easier, there's no question about it. I know some here wish that I could just bypass Congress and change the law myself. I know there's some folks who wish I could just bypass Congress. Now, I know some people want me to bypass Congress and change the laws on my own. Believe me. And, 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 and believe me, uh, right now dealing with Congress, the idea... So this is how liberty dies, with thunderous applause. But, but, but believe me, uh, Believe me, the idea of, of doing things on my own is very tempting. It, 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 I, I promise you, not, 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 just, not just on immigration reform, but when Congress refuses to act, then I have an obligation as president to do what I can without them. The Senate blocked a bill that would have created this committee. So I'll issue an executive order that will allow us to go forward. I said, I intend to do everything in my power right now to act with or without Congress. We can't wait for Congress to do its job. So where they won't act, I will. In recent weeks, we've been taking a series of executive actions. We couldn't just wait for Congress. These executive actions we're taking can make a difference. And I told my administration, we're going to look every single day to figure out what we can do without Congress. What can we do without them? You do not intend to adjust your set. This is a streaming freedom video bulletin. The cable hack will last exactly 60 seconds. It cannot be traced. It cannot be stopped. And it is the only free voice left in the city. Greeting citizens of the United States. By now it should be abundantly clear to you that there is something terribly wrong with this country, isn't there? Cruelty and injustice, intolerance and oppression. And where once you had the freedom to object, to think and speak, as you saw fit, you now have censors and systems of surveillance, coercing your conformity and soliciting your submission. How did this happen? Who's to blame? Well certainly there are those who are more responsible than others, and they will be held accountable. But again, truth be told, if you're looking for the guilty, you need only look into a mirror. But this past year has shown us that when we choose to rise up and take a stand, we can truly make a difference. So I ask you now to stand beside us once again. Like so many other countries have done already, let us rise up together and return this country to the principles it was founded upon. We must, as a nation, once again embrace defiance, rebellion, and resistance. We will not wait another moment in fear to stand up for what we know to be right. It is time we start meeting oppression with resistance. They cannot stop us. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.